with the release of Counter-Strike 2 coming this summer, a lot of things will be changing in-game, with some of the most notable ones being focused around smokes. I figured that it would be a good idea to compile some of the must-know smokes on Dust 2 to help you all get an early edge in your competitive matches when the game fully releases this summer. The reason this video focuses entirely on Dust 2 is because it is the only map we currently have access to in the beta. And another quick disclaimer, CS2 is still in a beta state, meaning that anything can change at any moment. Some of these smokes might not work on full release. If that is the case, I'll delete this video and upload a new one. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The first smoke we're going to be looking at today is going to be a cat smoke from outside B tunnels. You want to find these boxes out here in T-spawn and line up in the corner against the furthest box. Find this roof with the antennas and find the tall one where it connects to this one. Follow this one over and find the tall one next to it, line up right where they meet, and jump throw. If you throw the smoke correctly, it will bounce off the wall and land on Xbox. Our next smoke is also another Xbox smoke, this time from T-Spawn directly. You want to find this corner with the railing here, and if you just line up right against that railing in that corner, aim right where the two roofs meet, and jump throw. The smoke will again bounce off the floor and land on Xbox. Here we have yet another smoke from the exact same location that also smokes mid. However, this one's a little easier to throw and just as effective. You wind up in the same spot, but look at this little dark blot on the wall here. If you jump throw from here, it will miss Xbox and land directly in B doors. Now in CS2, it will actually fill up the entirety of the doorway, completely blocking any sight from mid. And for our last cat smoke, we have one that's kind of more of a fast cat smoke from T-Spawn. So you want to come to this corner, right where the wall hits the 45 degree angle, and line up just to the right of it. You will see this cross beam up here. If you just aim to the right of that against the wall and run throw, it will bounce directly onto Xbox, giving you free real estate up cat. And this can be thrown extremely fast and on the fly, which makes it much less of a setup than the other cat smokes. Our next smoke is a deep CT smoke from cat to help your team cross from long. You want to find this chicken on the garage door and line up in the corner. It can be a little bit of a weird lineup because the corner is not as deep as you would expect it to be. But once you're set in there, you just want to go line up with this roof right where it ends on the corner here. Find that corner and left click throw. This will bounce down into CT and will block that CT spawn cross so your teammates can cross long without trouble. This next smoke is a two-part smoke to get up cat. You want to find this gate a little bit further up by the cat stairs and find this window on the wall. Above it, you will see a dark spot. If you aim at that and just left click throw, that smoke will bounce and land up on top. This used to give you a one way, but will not in CS2, but it's still a useful smoke to know nonetheless. And it is the first of a two-part cat smoke to get you across without getting killed from ramp. For our second part of our cat smoke, you want to find that same chicken garage door, but line up with a different corner here off to the side. You want to find these tall arches. And if you aim at them, the top of the far one, and crouch and then left click, it will land on top of these boxes, giving you another free cross. This also used to give you a bit of a one-way, but again, will not anymore. Still worth knowing, though. Here's a quick look at what those two smokes will look like when used together correctly. This would be the first one you throw. Ideally, two separate people throwing each one of these smokes. The first one for the long cross, and the second one for that close smoke. And you can see once they pop... They will completely cover off your cross all the way up to the short side so you can freely fight towards that goose position without getting sniped on the cross. This is what the enemies will see, and it is quite effective. This next smoke is probably the most important smoke in all of Dust 2, and this would be the mid to B smoke. Especially at lower ranks, most people will crutch on long, so most CTs will stack up there. If you can effectively take B with a split, 
you can win the round. You want to line up with Xbox and find this black dot on the wall. You can aim above or below it, depending. It will all land in the same spot about. It will all cover off most of CT with the new smokes, which gives you a completely free take of mid and a perfect split of the B site. For our next smoke is a B door smoke. This one from Tons. You want to find this pillar directly to the left of where you enter Tons and this long gap in the ceiling. If you line it up just right here, it's pretty forgiving and simply left click throw, it will block off B doors. Now there's a lot of ways to throw the smoke. This one's my favorite as it doesn't leave you exposed to anything other than lower and it still allows you to completely isolate a fight with the one or two players on B. This next smoke is a great smoke to go hand in hand with the last one. This one is for B window, and I will warn you that it is one of the more precise smokes in the video, actually probably the most precise smoke in this video. So you want to go into T-spawn and find this little corner outside B tons, and then you want to find the arch and line up to the left of it. There's a little bit of a black spot off to the side, and then the wire. If you aim just up, kind of right in the middle between the two, and then step and jump throw at the same time, the smoke should land correctly. It can be a little bit finicky, and is a bit precise, like I said, but if you get it right, it will land covering off a window. This combined with the door smoke will completely isolate the B site from any outside help. So this next smoke is a bit of a meme smoke, and it's not the most useful thing in the game, with the exception of a couple of fakes. But it's really just an amazing showcase of how absolutely ridiculous some of the smokes in CS2 can be with the removal of the skybox. So in T-Spawn, you want to line up in this corner back here with the electrical box. And when you line up here, you want to find the white rectangle on the electrical panel. And you want to line up right here against the far top right corner. And then run and jump through as soon as you pass the wall there. This smoke will travel all the way over the map and land in B doors. It's not a perfect smoke, but it can be used as a great fake. And it's just an amazing showcase of how crazy CS2 smokes can be. Now for our first A long side smoke, you want to find this garage door here outside along by the car and find this palm tree. Do not aim at this middle branch, that's the one most people will go for. Aim at the one right below it to the right instead. And if you simply left click, this smoke will land just on the long corner here, blocking off any CT access. This can allow you to jump into pit and position yourselves correctly at long without getting picked off by the op from sight. And it can also block a pretty early push or a retake push into the long corner with flashes, it's just a generally good piece of utility to throw, especially at higher ranks, as it will help your long takes out a ton. Our next piece of important long utility is going to be for this back plat area here, and especially in CS2, since it no longer gives CTs a one-way, it can be a great piece of utility to help you get up towards long corner and out towards the site without getting picked off by players playing on site. So you're going to find this back corner and these three dishes up here, and if you just aim at this left one up here, right at the kind of the point of it, and then over to the right to find the edge of that middle dish, just right about there, and jump throw, this smoke will land right up against the box here and block off all of top plat. It'll also block off most of that barrels and sandbag angle, so it makes it much easier for you to push up towards that long side without getting picked off from somebody up here. So now the first of the two CT smokes in this video, this one is the deeper one. So you want to come outside long here and just find this little lattice piece here and line up right in the center of it. And then find this green roof and this little jutting out piece above it. If you crouch and then aim at that piece and stand up again without looking away from it. And then just left click throw. This will land deep CT blocking off across late. And it will allow you to take that early corner control, control elevator, and generally can just stop a retake well before it even happens. And the second of our two CT smokes is going to be the shallow CT smoke. This will also block off elevator, so if you know that there's somebody up there, this can just help you get cross to site easier without taking any gunfights. This one, there is a precise lineup for it. I can never remember it in match, so I just prefer to wing it. It's a pretty easy smoke to throw, especially now with CS2. This smoke will fill up the entirety of that cross, even with if it's imperfect. You just want to throw it at an angle kind of towards that tooth on the wall. 
and it will land in CT. And you can see that's kind of a mist smoke, but it will still fill up the entirety of that spot. Basically meaning that you can throw the smoke completely imperfectly, and it will still block off cross. Even this tiny little angle here will require a boost to look over, so it's still a full safe cross, kind of no matter what. Now, Dust Dude doesn't have a lot of great CT side smokes, so I've only managed to find a couple of them, and I'll just quick rattle them off. The first one here is a long smoke. You line up with the corner of this car, and then you find this building, and then the little antenna or power pole that sticks out from the side here, and you just line up kind of right where they would meet. You know, a little bit of a spacing thing. Again, not a perfect smoke. Just left-click throw it. It'll land in the long doors. If you can get good at throwing the smoke fast, it can be really useful to stop long rushes or late long takes. And the next smoke for CT side is surprise, surprise. Another long door smoke. This one I like a little bit better than the last one that you would line up with that car there. So instead of going to this car corner here, you're going to want to find this garage door and where this edge happens. Line up just to the right of it. And then just find this little panel on the wall here. Line up a little bit above it. And left click throw this smoke will actually land on the opposite side of the door but will still work its way around it the reason i like this one is it still blocks vision and will still keep people in the door but you can actually throw a fairly shallow molotov behind that smoke that will still damage players push them back or through that smoke meaning that it can be a great early smoke combined with a molly for some free kills as people run through a smoke so these last two smokes of the video are going to be B retake smokes, something retake a notoriously hard B site to retake in the game. If you line up in this corner by the truck here and you find this little kind of cross beam, you can see they don't actually intersect perfectly. So if you follow this one over just to the side right at the edge and jump through that smoke, this smoke will bounce off the wall here and land right outside of tunnels. It'll also block off this headshot angle since one ways are no longer a thing, which can help you get through the doors a little bit easier to help retake this site. The last smoke of the video I have is going to be another B retake smoke. You line up with that part of the truck here, right in this corner, under this little balcony, and you find this window on the left here. Right to the edge of that corner, you'll see a black spot. If you go straight down from it, you'll find another black spot, and you line up with that one. Make sure you don't accidentally go down to the bottom one because the smoke will miss. From here, if you just run and jump throw, this smoke will bounce towards back plat, isolating most of that angle. This won't work super well for a tunnel's retake, as you can see they can still peek over the box a little bit, but hand in hand with the ton smoke, this can help you isolate a lot more angles on site for free without getting picked off from the two most common opping positions in back B. That's all I've got for you guys in this video, so don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, it means a lot to me. And stay tuned, we'll be dropping more guides for every map in CS2 once the game releases. Also, go check out the Twitch linked in the description below. I stream over there as often as I can. We'll be doing a big stream on the day that the game drops. We're going to be opening cases, doing a lot of crazy stuff. It's going to be awesome. You won't want to miss it. So go drop a follow over there as well. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.